weekend after an awesome, really long weekend doing Extra Life, but it was fun. If you guys joined for that, thank you so much. It was a blast talking to all of you guys. And, well, it's Monday, and so ready for another game. This time, doing, getting, getting back to Freedom 5, I know we've done this before, but I have a special guest with me. I have Scott with me. Howdy, y'all. Well, Scott is uh, very active on our Discord. He's talking about this game and said, you know what? I kind of want to try it. I'm like, you know what? How about you come on this Twitch and we'll, uh, we'll have some fun. So we're going to try out this game, and I'll explain it again for folks if you didn't catch any other videos. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, have, we'll have some fun here just hanging out. I'm going to be trying out this new Absolute Zero character. He's the only one I haven't seen yet. I'm excited how that works. And just checking a couple of things real quick. Looks like we're good. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're playing Freedom 5. So what is the game about? We are superheroes in the if you're familiar with the Sentinels of a Multiverse game, this is the same intellectual property. Playing as superheroes trying to take down a big bad guy. Honestly, just like every other superhero game out there, right? <laughs> so this game is heavily inspired by Defenders of, Defenders of the Realm, our pandemic type games. And our goal of the game is take down this guy over here, Baron Blade, the vengeful inventor. And so he, to win the game, we have to knock his hit points down to zero. And if you look in the bottom left corner of his card, it's got a power symbol that describes how many hit points he has. So H is the number of heroes. We're playing two heroes in this game. So he only has six hit points. You know, piece of cake, right? <laughs> Not exactly. Uh, yeah, so, but he has a a different effect here. So if you look down below here, the mobile defense platform, this thing says that any damage that would be placed on Baron Blade must be applied to the mobile defense platform until it is destroyed. So he doesn't really have six health. He has 20 plus six health, 26 health. So he's a little, a little tougher than we thought. In addition to that, the important thing to look at for his card is he has no defense ability, but, um, the after attack is important. So basically, um, he activates his trans lunar cannon upon attack, meaning that we only have one chance to take him out. So we have to make a count when we do go for him. So that's why you can't just rush at him and try to hit him down real quick by ignoring everything else. The other thing to keep in mind is we do have a bunch of villains he's hired to, to cause havoc. So we've got Fright Train, Glamour, and Abuscade joining the fray. So we can try to take down these guys. Let me set the health here to, let's see, seven there. This is six and nine up here. So we're using these tickers. It makes it easier to keep track of health. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's, uh, while I'm at it. And one more for the defense platform, too. Now, the important thing is, every time we take out a villain, uh, we the villain's carrying a power pack. If you look at the mobile defense platform card, on the second bullet effect, it says, each time a villain is defeated, the power pack they're carrying, feeding the energy to the mobile defense platform, is destroyed, dealing seven damage to the mobile defense platform. Very nice. So the nice thing is we can actually take out some of these villains that will weaken the mobile defense platform and then maybe take out Baron Blade. That's kind of how the game goes. And Doesn't seem like a good way to power a mobile defense platform, but... <laughs> yeah. Hey, Look take this us. power plaque. Wait, where are they? They're just running around the city with this power plaque. Power plaque. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so... Oh, nice. Uh, thanks, Joe, for making it. I'm glad glad you're able to watch. So Joe uh, from our Slack, our Discord, actually, 
made it to to watch us live. Cool. So, the interesting thing about this game is there's a couple of different things we have to worry about on losing. We can lose if, well, there's an alternate loss condition by the villain. In this case, if we don't defeat him, he launches his Terror Lunar Cannon and we lose the game. We also lose if, um, well, we can lose in a couple of ways, but basically what's going to happen is when we run out of these tokens, like too many guys on the board or too many, too many these anarchy tokens, which symbolize like chaos or some, some criminal event in the streets we have to deal with, all these things are going to start causing these mastermind track at the very bottom, this little purple track. And when this purple indicator reaches the 10th spot, we something is going to happen. And we're going to flip over uh, Baron, uh, uh, Baron Blade's card, and he's going to tell us what to do. So basically, we want to try to defeat him as much as possible before this reaches the 10th spot. But like I said, we've got Anarchy Tokens, which are like bad things happening around the city we can deal with. There's Bystanders on the board we can go rescue. Um, special cards are just amazing cards we can get as rewards for doing certain things. And then justice cards. Justice cards are uh, a personal quest or, or some other side mission we can do. And uh, we each have one that we can try to achieve as we're playing the game. But uh, let's That's see. Simple enough. Yeah, pretty simple, honestly. Um, Does the mastermind track wrap? We do 10, flip a card, do 10, flip a card, or we lose at 10? No, well, things happen at 10. It could be, it's all scenario driven. And all you need to know is when it gets to 10, we, we, flip, we flip the card over and, and bad things happen. I'll, I'll tell you okay. that we, we don't want that to happen. <laughs> so Now, if we come over here, uh, we'll uh, read the scenario a little bit and we'll jump into it. So this is the, like I said, each this game is set up all, all about scenarios. So we're just doing the intro scenario with Baron Blade. Nice thing, it's got a nice little comic going on in here. Um, I won't read through this right now, but um, I'll read through a little, little bit of the little bit of the uh, overlay, but I'll get into some of the details. But basically, Baron Blade, he lost everything when he was 13. And the Parsons, he blames them for taking everything away from him. And the Parsons is basically uh, uh, the family that Legacy is. So Legacy is his arch nemesis. Right? So he wants to have his revenge. So he's hiring Abjus Gage, Fright Train, and Glamour to cause chaos uh, while he works on finishing up his Terra Lunar Cannon. So what we'll do here is I'm... Um, I already did the setup. Um, but we'll flip this. Oops. Not that. Not the whole thing over. I just want the card over. Here we go. Flip this over. And we're, we start in Chapter 1. And so basically, yeah, he... He realizes that Legacy is indestructible, but... He can destroy the planet. So he's like, you know what? I hate this guy so much. I'm just going to wipe up the whole world. Screw everyone else just to get at this one guy. So um, that's his plan. But the important thing is, is here the villain phase effects tells you what the villain's going to do on their turn. This might change from scenario to scenario. And this one, we're gonna, how it's going to work is one of us will take a, their, all the hero actions. Then when we're done, we'll do the villain effects, which is draw two cards and then draw a scheme card and do what it says. And then we'll rinse and repeat. That will continue okay. on. That will continue until, if you look at the bottom of this card, it's got the stop here. It says, do not advance until you have defeated two villains or the mastermind track reaches a uh, five. So if you go over to the mastermind track way over here at the beginning, you notice that we've got these purple cubes on the track. Uh, the first one's at the fifth spot. So that's a reminder that when we move this marker, um, when we move to the fifth spot, that's when we advance the uh, the comic. And so our, our goal is basically we want to get through the comic um, in order to take him out or, or, or advance the story. So our, basically our goal right now is to take out two villains if we can. Okay. The other thing to keep in mind here is we've got special rules at the top of page four. And so it's got a villain standees up here. I honestly don't worry about that right now until we deal with the villain. Uh, but justice cards are worth noting. So justice cards are, like I said, our personal quests. It says that each justice card in your reward pile may be spent to gain one die against any villain or Baron Blade in combat. So the more of these quests you go on, the more dice you can have against a, a big attack against something, which is kind of nice. 
And the big one is this purple, the Seeds of Chaos. So each time a Mastermind token is placed, add an Anarchy token of any color to the location as well. And then Baron Blade's going to move to the location and deal his damage. So, yeah, every time the, the uh, Baron Blade moves, he's going to damage everyone in his spot. What, what that means is we have these Anarchy tokens, which symbolize, like I said, the crime going on. But we also have in this bag these Mastermind tokens, which is the equivalent of his evil plot going on. So we don't want any of those coming out if we can. It's going to happen. <laughs> so... Okay, enough yeah. enough for preamble. Let's do, jump into this. So, Scott, who did you choose to play? I chose Tachyon. Her main power is super speed, and she's also super smart. Oh, yeah, she's awesome. And so underneath here, it tells you the starting materials, how you set the deck. So you get her ability deck, you get her personal task cards, which we'll get to a little bit later. You get a random justice card, which you already have, and you get your action tokens. Then below that, it tells you where you can start. Um, so you can start in Freedom Tower, or you can start in the, the laboratories at number nine. Oh, same lab I'm in. That's cool. So you can take your stand so Start in the other. Yeah, I'm starting. Oh, I guess I fell over here. There we go. I started in number nine, but you can start in number nine, or you can start in Freedom Tower up in nineteen up here. I'll start up in Freedom Tower. Okay, cool. That's where our lab is, anyways. Yeah. And when you're done with that, you can put this identity card, cover that stuff up, because you don't need to worry about that stuff anymore. And um, the other thing I'll mention before we start playing... <laughs> yes! Joe's excited you chose Tachyon. <laughs> He's like, Tachyon hype! <laughs> yep, I guess Tachyon's a favorite for a lot of people. Uh, she's awesome. Yeah, she's really fun in this game too, honestly. Is these... Uh, these, these numbers on the left side, the mind, body, spirit, and tech... So whenever you're going to attack or do anything with that color, these numbers correspond what what's a success for you. So for example, if I did a mind test with three dice, um, any of those dice I roll that's four or greater would be a success. Sim like a, that'd be five or greater for a, for a, a spirit test, for example. So each character has different um, different tendencies. So like you're really good at body, I'm horrible at body. <laughs> so. Uh, but I'm pretty good with tech and okay and the other stuff, so we'll, we might have to work together here. And the other thing is, on the, your right side of the board is all your actions you can do. There's one key thing you have to keep track of is, um, each of these actions is going to take one of your five action tokens up here. But, okay. um, when you take your actions, it depends on what state you're in. So you you start in civilian form, which is this the card you see to your left right now. It's got the little blue suit one. Yep, and you can at some point during your turn you can choose to flip over to hero form. Um, you don't have to, but it's it's only you start in you always start in civilian form, and you can flip to hero form. And once you're in hero form, you have to stay in hero form for the rest of your turn. But if you look at the actions on your right, some of them, like resting, you can only do in civilian form. It's a little icon. Other ones, like your attack ability, the top one, you can only do that in hero form. And other ones, like movement, you can do in either form. It's got both the civilian and hero next to it. So that's an important distinction. Um, let's see, anything else to mention? How many? We get five actions a turn, I assume? Five actions a turn, and... Oh, we draw a hand. Um, I think it's four cards. Let me double-check that real quick. Yep. It is. Four ability cards. Okay. So you can take your deck, shuffle it up, and I'm going to draw four cards. Um, oops. Where did my cards go? Oh, you're over there. I'm going to pull my card drain from my board here. Uh, since we're demoing, I assume we're probably going to go with an open hand. Yeah, I like to. Just so people watching the stream Plus can see it. Up, so. Yeah. So apparently Joe thinks says that these are his two favorite heroes from the base game. Absolute Zero uh, and Tachyon. I want to like Absolute Zero in the base game. <laughs> He's tricky to play in the Sentinels of Multiverse game. I, yeah, I like I've never Joe. figured him out. 
Yeah, he's. I've seen him go really well though. Once <laughs> he gets going, he's yeah. pretty powerful. This is my first time seeing him, so I'm curious. I'm excited to see how this works. Okay, let's let's play. So, do you want so, to go first, or do you want me to go first? I'll probably have you go first, but I have one quick question. What's that? So, our cards, are they just considered an action since they have the action token on them? Yes and no. If it has the action token on it, it takes an action to play it. Correct. Okay, so all mine are actions that I choose in addition to the other actions listed. Yes. Some cards and are do not. I... You'll, you'll see them. Actually, you do have a few cards that don't require an action in your deck, but... You don't have and do I get to see my personal task? Does um, that pop up? It doesn't matter. You don't have. It's just going to be annoying that it pops up later. I mean, you can look at oh, something, want, but it, it's not going to be. Oh no! But it's, it's something that comes up to me later. Yeah. Okay. I won't look. I'll just let the game surprise me then. So, like this year, this is a tech, uh, Legacies card, and you see, there's no icon for it. So this one doesn't require an action to play. So that's the difference. There we are. Okay, that's what I figured. Cool. Um, and then, like, these cards, you can either play them for their ability, which is in the text below, or you can discard them for the dice on them. And you do that when you're attacking the, any bosses or villains. So what we'll probably want to do oh. is we'll probably build a hand of cards for a certain color and then go try to attack a boss, and we can combine attack, uh, team up to hit them at the same time, for example. So. Okay, why don't you go first and I'll okay. get us over the game. I shall start. So I am Ryan Frost. I'm in civilian form. I guess that's his civilian form because he's stuck in his suit all the time. <laughs> so Yes, uh, he is stuck in his suit all the time. It makes sense. He's supposed to be like a Otherwise Mr. He'll die. Yeah, he's supposed so. to be like a Mr. Freeze type guy, I assume, or Yeah. Yeah, it's other than he's not a villain. Right, he's not a villain. Though that's one thing I do like about Mr. Freeze is Mr. Freeze, he, yeah, he's a villain, but he's also got like a good side to him too. Every once in a while, it comes out. He's just, I like, I like interesting. He's a villain with that. noble aspirations. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so it says once per turn, choose a color. Each hero at a location that matches the chosen color may draw one ability card. Oh, you know what? If I would have read that like earlier, you. I would have probably just started with you. Just, uh, oh wait, you're blue. I'm at green. So you know what? I'm gonna move here. There you go. I was going to say, we probably want to get rid of green, too, because we're almost out of meeples of green. Yeah, we definitely go for green. All right, I'll start there, and then I'm going to choose to do this cool banter. And since we're both at each here at a location that matches the color I choose, which I'm going to choose blue, we each draw a card. So we both get another card. Okay, let me look at some of these cards. Ice Shield. You play this card any time a hero on or an adjacent to your location is taking damage to prevent two of it. That's cool. Ice Surfing plays an action to move up to four locations. Ooh, that's super awesome. Coolant Blast plays an action to defeat all henchmen at your location. Uh, yes. Ice Shield and a uh, Horror Fire. Play as an action to defeat one henchman at your location in each adjacent location, then draw a card. Wow. This guy's cool. I like him. Uh, pun intended, I guess. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. Um, ooh, okay, I'm gonna do my keeping cool ability here. It's my first action. So, since I'm at the lab or freedom tower, I can spend an action to draw five cards, choose one color to keep, and then discard the rest. You can only do that once per turn. So, let's go ahead and draw five cards. Let's see, I got a red, a double, ooh, that's a good green. Four, five, okay. Um, I'm Yeah, I'm definitely gonna choose green because I got the double green in there. So I'll keep three cards for that one. That was- Do you have a hand limit? You do have a hand limit of 10 cards and it's at the end of your turn. So during your turn, okay. you can go over. So I've got a lot of green. Um, you do too. I do. We've got three dice and I've got one, two, three, four dice. Wonder if we can go for absolute skate fairly early in this game. Anyway, okay, cool. So my first action- and I'll be able to draw three cards on my turn, so. Yeah. Okay, I think, yeah, you're right. We have to, oh, we've had so many bad guys everywhere. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done with my civilian form. I'm gonna flip to my hero form. 
My special ability says, after defeating henchmen, you may, ch may place the frozen token on that henchman's color supply. Next time the henchmen of that color would be placed, remove the frozen token and do not place those henchmen. That is awesome. I frostbound them. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna spend an action and let's see my movement is one or two locations. So flip this over. I shall move, I'm gonna move down here, I think. Hmm. No, I'll move. I move over here because I need oh, I need to get rid of mastermind tokens. Yeah, I'll move over here. Okay, I'll move to this location and spend an action to attack. When you attack henchmen, and you can't the henchmen basically block you from doing anything else in that spot. You have to take out the henchmen before attacking villains, before interacting with tokens, all that fun stuff. So every time you attack. You're going to grab uh, the dice of that color and you attack that, you grab another dice equal that color equal number of henchmen. So because I'm attacking three henchmen, I'm going to grab three dice and roll them all for this one action. And I need a four higher to hit because if you look at my card, my mind is four. So let's go ahead and roll uh, these up. The hench henchmen correspond to the colors. You got it. I got. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. Hit. Just one. <laughs> okay. That's okay. So that's one action. I will spend another action to attack again. This time I'm only rolling two dice. So let me highlight those and roll again. Got another one. Okay. I got one action left and there's one more henchman. Now, I could, track it. I could attack again, but in the event I don't defeat him, at the end of my turn, I will take a damage for every henchman in my spot. The villains won't damage you. The, the boss won't damage you. It's only the henchmen. So I've got a 50-50 chance I'll take damage if I stay there. Now I can try to run away, but if I run away, I don't see any spots that are free of minions nearby. So you know what? I'm just going to take a chance. What's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> this has been my last action. And uh, come on, let's see what we get. Oh, rats. Okay, did not get the last guy. At least you can see what damage does. So damage, I go into this bag, draw one of these tokens out and uh, do what it says. So this one says, place an action token on this damage. So that means next turn I play, I only have four actions until I heal. Well, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. And healing for me is if I'm at the labs of tower, I can heal all damage. So that's how I heal. I if you like the card tower. game, you also take damage to do damage. Uh -huh. We'll have to see. But it says here after oh, after defeating henchmen, I can put my frozen token on that henchman's color. Cool, because I defeated green ones, I'm gonna put my frozen token on the green henchman, so it's gonna prevent a green henchman spawn. Probably have used my power card, but I didn't bother using this turn. So I am going to my turn's gonna end. So we look at the villain phase effects, which here says I have to draw two cards. And we draw a scheme card. So first thing is I'm gonna draw two more cards. One, two. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, we got a full hand. Okay. And then we do a scheme. So come over here and I take the scheme card and let's see what we get. We get this one. So first one says we have to put two green henchmen at space eleven. So we would grab two henchmen and put them down down here, but because of my frozen token, I believe we so don't that place any them. Yep, they don't get placed. And then Got two blue at Freedom Tower. Yep, that's where we are, or you are specifically. So one, yep. two, and the last one says a red at one. So the red at one, and then it says. And that symbol means the villain. So a villain will move to space one, but move only if there's three henchmen present. If you look at the location, there's only two. So it's fine. He doesn't move. Okay. 
And then on the move is the event that we can do. Each hero may move up to three locations. I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to come up to Baron Blade up here. So I can clear that out and take care of that token pretty easily in my turn. Okay, you can move three locations if you want, but if you don't, that's fine. I think I'll stick where I am. Okay. My turn is done. You're up, Scott. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is in civilian form is I'm going to do my research grant and draw three cards. Mm-hmm. God, so good. <laughs> yep, the three cards. Straight up. Running out of room. We can get rid of some of these things, too. Okay. She's making sense. Then I'm going to... Does it, t it doesn't take an action to flip to my hero form, right? It does not, but you might want to do your ability before you flip. If you look at the bottom of her card. Yeah, I was looking at that. I can't move to the place that has an anarchy location. Um, You just have to be adjacent to it. Oh, you do have to be adjacent? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad you read that card, because that's what I thought. So I will roll <laughs> a die. If I get if I get an even, we can discard that token. Yeah. Oh, not good even. <laughs> wah, wah. It's worth a shot. Okay, then I'm going to flip the tachyon. And now my ability is you may re-roll all dice one, one time each time you roll the dice. Okay. My next task, or token, I'm going to play hypersonic speed, or hypersonic charge. Which lets me move to three adjacent three adjacent locations. I defeat a henchman at each location. Uh -huh. So we'll move here, defeat a green, which the first one go on my oh my nice. justice card. Nice, nice. And then I will move to Central Bridge, defeat that one. Uh -huh. Goes on my card. Uh -huh. And then I will move to the Chatham Wineries. Oh, come on, tabletop, drop it. <laughs> Just like that, you almost got yeah. it completed. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, that was two actions. My third action. Let's see. We can play as many cards as we want. I'm going to play my HUD goggles and play the card I just played. Sure. So I'm going to move to three locations and defeat That's someone action, there at the each. Way, yes. Yep. What color am I missing? Yellow. Yep, just yellow. So we'll go here. Mm -hmm. And now I have a yellow. Boom, just like that. Then I'll be able to do that another action. Then I'll move here. Uh -huh. That'll go here. Uh -huh. Oh, and a misplant. Oh, okay, we'll move here. It's okay. Still good. Okay. Your night patrol. Right. You take the rooftop streets and oh, alleys. No. Oh, yeah. So let me flip that. Yeah, you already flipped it. Oh, no, you, did you? Oh, no, not yet. No, no, you did, you did. Because the first one was draw cards, second one was hypersonic speed, and this, the third one was hypersonic speed again. So you're good. You don't have to flip another one yet. Huh. I thought I did. Okay, because the justice card. if you look at card... your goggles, it's no action. Oh, you're right. So, you were good. Oh. Okay, then I'm going to finish this guy off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Glad someone's playing well. It's not me. <laughs> oh, good draw. And I think that's a task built for 
a person that runs around really fast. Oh, yeah. To patrol the night. I mean, yeah, she can do that real easily. It just takes a moment of her time. <laughs> so. I was just grocery shopping. So now and then our reward the... is... Yep. I can flip this card at any time to avoid drawing all scheme cards and at the end of any hero's turn. Then it adds this card to a victory stack. So we can avoid a scheme a turn if we want. All schemes, which is awesome. Because you might draw more than one. Spoiler alert. It's a, kind of the equivalent of um, All's Quiet or One Quiet Night. Um, I can't think of the name of the card. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, I'll, I'll point this out, but like you get this reward whenever you want it. But after you get the reward, you flip this card over and you put it, if you don't mind me showing you real quick, right here next to your Justice Rewards. Oh. And so what that means is if you look at the, the scenario card over here, um, that's what I mentioned earlier on page four. It says Justice card. Each Justice card in your reward pile, so that's what that means, can be spent to add a die. So you can st okay. stock up a bunch of completed um, Justice here to get a bunch of dice later. Also, whenever you do a Justice card, you immediately draw another one uh, and add it to your board. So you always have one active Justice uh, card to go okay. for. Where's the justice? Uh, right here. I hear the sound. <laughs> here, I'll grab it for you. So, okay. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Right in front of me. There you go. What do I need to do? I already. Oh, a quiet moment. Seek advice from your friend who works at the local chapter. So. Well, on the. Basilica Cathedral of St. James location with no henchmen. You may test a spirit as a free action. Roll two dice. One so, plus success. You find comfort and wisdom. I'm pretty sure there's a typo on this card. Meaning that if you read the card, it talks about Basil Basilica Cathedral of St. James, location 7. But if you look at the icons, it says 20, the, the convention center. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that convention center should be number 7. So, I just say, yeah. yeah. Okay, so my next action is I'm going to play Blinding Speed that lets me move anywhere <laughs> oh, gosh. and defeat a location. I will shoot over to the Basilica. What? And what? And def <laughs> defeat this. Gosh. Assuming I read that card right, let's you double share. You are correct. Share. You are correct. And then, I think I can complete this justice. Oops. Watt Basilica. You may see this roll two dice. Oh, looks like I can roll two dice. You have to test spirit. Yep. Oh, that's a free action. Oh, you have an action after five, this. So. That's nice. Yeah, spirit five. I did not. I did not. So is this done now? Wait, did you roll already? I did. I got that one in the three there. Oh, but don't forget, you're attacking I, I did roll the blue dice. Oh, yes. And let me do this right. Let me, let me roll the You can the roll the blue dice. dice. It doesn't matter. It only matters if you attack mixed uh, colors of henchmen. So. Oh, I know. But yes. Boom! And there we go. And now I can re-roll again. <laughs> so, Steve, what did you do in your turn? Uh, took out two henchmen. Let's go. What did you do your turn? Oh, I took out like six henchmen and cleared two reward, two my justice cards. <laughs> I defeat five green henchmen. That would have been good to have an hour ago. Oh, for sure. Okay, my last action. I think I will. Let's see. Now remember, if you end your turn at a spot with minion yeah. damage, what can I do? I say, I can attack. I can don't need to heal. You do have hug goggles. So you could play a hug goggles to a bonding speed again someplace with only one. Minion. Yeah, why don't I? I will do that. There's my. Oh, I have a whole other hand. I'm not looking at. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will do HUD goggles for blinding speed. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to move somewhere with a green token. Ooh, smart. 
And I guess I'll go to Megalopolis. Yeah. Sure. Actually, no. No, yeah. That way I won't take damage. Uh, this one works a little bit different. You don't actually put the tokens there. You put damage on it instead. Oh, okay. So, in fact, I'll make your life a little bit easier. I'll give you uh, one of these things. Real quick. Damage in the bag? Uh, yeah, but I'll just give you this counter. Let's just make your life easier. Oh, okay, yeah. There you go. So you can set that to one. I'll get for you here. And I can do it. There you go. Cool. And I'm finally done. That was a super effective turn. <laughs> much, much more effective than myself. So you well, get one of my to... concerns. What's that? Go ahead. Go ahead and run the game. That's fine. No, no, no. What, what are you gonna say? You had any concerns? No, I was gonna say from when I watched your previous game, one of my concerns is the heroes weren't feeling like heroes, and I just disproved that. So. Yeah, I think I had a. a... I have a bad tendency to want to hold those cards in my hand so I can build up to take out a villain right away. Um, but I think, as you proved, playing them is super effective. So, Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll regret it later, but... <laughs> we also had to get green off the board. We definitely did. Uh, definitely did. We go ahead? Yeah, go ahead and draw two cards. Oh, I get to draw cards. Great. And knowing the... The card game doesn't hurt because the cards are all similar to what they are in the card game. They are, yeah. It's not... I guess I could have also ended on a spot because I have a way to cancel damage as well. So. Oh, true. Your uh, the one card to keep in mind is the pushing the limits. That one is a uh, kind of unique because you can only play it out of your turn. Kind of yeah, I saw that. I was going to read it this while it was your turn. So Okay, what do we do now? We now we do draw a scheme card. Probability. I'll go ahead and let you run the game there. Okay. So we get uh, this card, which is... Unless you want me to do it. I have no problem. So. No, it's fine. Uh, two green guys at seven. Here, I'll read it to you. Okay. Let's see, we get a... We got a blue guy at Chatham, Chatham Wineries. Which uh, number is that? That is 29. 29. And it looks like we get bystander token there, yep. is bystander my guess. There. Yep. And then we get a yellow at 28, which is Windut Community Ferry Station. 20. If there's three uh -oh. well, henchmen sure. there, uh, the villain will move. So because we don't have a yellow villain... Um, we can ignore that because the, instead of a yellow villain, we have the yellow mask. Oh, sorry, it's color related. That's but we also have to look at the bottom of this. Running out of time. If there are three or more mastermind tokens are active, so we got to check. Do we have three mastermind tokens? We have one, two. We only have two. So what do we have to do? Are, are mastermind tokens are also anarchy tokens? No, they're the eyeball ones. These uh, these ones. Oh, I see one. There's or two. The other one. Two? one here oh, and one down here oh. at thirty. Okay. So we have two. Okay. Yeah, two of them. So that's we don't do that part. So if there's three of them, remove one. If not, place this card next to the mastermind track. If there are ever th three of these running out of time cards, discard them and advance the mastermind track one space. Cool. So that's going to give us a little bit of time pressure. I'll just take a read. Actually, I like to put it up by the boss. Put that for now. Okay. Okay. Cool. That wasn't so bad, especially with your awesome turn. Now it's my turn. Let's see, you've got some, you got, you don't have a whole lot of dice in any particular color. Anywhere you want to move for free? Move for free? What do you mean? My card. I can move you. I play during someone other's turn and I may move you up to one to three locations. Or you can. No, I think it's only you, I think. Play during another play hero's during turn. during another hero's turn to move... Oh, it's me. Yeah. I you, play. Yep. Ah. You play out of turn because it's so fast. Okay. Let's start in civilian form. I do have a damage. Okay. Let's do you see. always start in civilian? Uh, yes. Always start. Okay. So, so you always... So technically at the end of your turn you should flip? Mm, nah, not the end of the turn. 
you flip at the start of your turn. And the reason for that is if you choose to stay in civilian form at the end of your turn, uh, the any henchman in your location won't damage you because you're not a threat. So there's actually some strategic choices there if you want to switch the hero form at all. But once you're in hero form, you have to stay in it until the start of your next turn. Well, that's good because it gets rid of my concern that I had before. What was your yeah. other concern? Well, no, my concern was, is like, well, I want to be in my uh, my civilian form, but if I flip, I can't flip again. But since I get the first, have to flip at the beginning of the turn, yep. they flip you each turn. Yep, you always start. So I'm in my civilian form, so this is the only time I can heal, but I don't... No, wait, I can heal in hero form. Oh, sweet. Okay, I might have to do that. But I don't have anything I need to do in civilian form, so I'm going... Oh, wait, what's my special ability? Choose a color. Draw a card. Um, I'm in a yellow spot. Where are you? I am... Let me find me again. I am in... Where did I go? Oh, you're over here. You're at uh, the stock exchange at green yeah, spot. I'm at 15. Okay. I don't need more cards. Um, I'm going to choose green so you can draw a card. Yep. I... Oh, nice. We have a lot of green dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. She only has seven health. Uh, potentially, potentially. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm curious to see how that works. Because Amuscade is obviously green. So we defeat him with green, I assume. That's correct. And we roll dice to do damage to him? Yes. And you don't you only roll dice the number of cards you discard to do it. So I have to we okay. both have to discard green cards to do it. Is it a max of three dice? No, we can have any number of dice. Um, if okay. we need to, we can um, I can copy them for us. So. Oh, I'm just curious. Yep. I don't but know what does in the game it. though. Like the physical game, I'm not sure what the component count is. Hopefully, more than three. Oh, fuck more than three, yes. You can roll any dice. It doesn't yeah. really matter. So. Yeah, you could. Okay, so first thing is, um, I did that. Let me flip to my hero form. I'm going to spend an action. Let me attack these henchmen in my spot. So, the good news is, my tech skill is only three. So, I just need a three or higher to hit them. So, let me grab some yellow dice real quick. And I don't think I'm going to use a card. Yeah, I'm going to wait a second on that. Okay. Roll these up. Boom! Three hits. Nice. That's what I was hoping to see. Okay. And the main reason I did that is because I want to interact with this menace token. Or the master mastermind. Yeah. What's it called? That's my token. Anyway. All right. So that's my first action. My second action is going to, if you look at the bottom of your ability, it says token interaction. So the mastermind token, I can encounter it, but no henchman may be present to interact with it. So well, all you do to interact with these tokens is you flip it over and see the number on the back, five. What that means as we go to the comic book, we look at number five. Number five says, a laser blast fires down at you from the mobile defense platform, which is fitting because it's right next to me. Move Baron Blade to your location and suffer three damage. Afterwards, discard this token. So he's going to blast me. Uh, but I do get rid of the token, so that's good. Now, the I'm going to go ahead and lay down. I'm going to throw my ice shields down, two of them. That will prevent four of that damage. Okay. So, to each. That's what it's for. That's what it's Yep. Did his job. So now I take this, shuffle back into this this deck. The big thing is it's my my goal here is to get rid of two of those mastermind tokens. So I put a damage token on it. Um let's scrap that real quick. Okay, cool. So that's that. Um let's see.
I want to I wish I had another action. Don't think I can. Okay, so I'm gonna run to the tower for another one, another action. Okay. I'm going to heal. Now I'm at the location. It says on my card I can repair. I heal all damage. So this goes back in here, and then I can reshuffle my deck. So I heal the damage. So now I have another action left over, which is good. Um, I yeah, I think I'll reshuffle my deck. I want those high shields back. So I think that's the only way to get your disco pile back into your deck. Now I got one action left. I'm going to use my last action to. You want to more toward Ambuscade, and then we can meet up there? Or? Potentially. I'll take damage if I go there. Um, or I could just go there at the end of my turn, and then we can deal with it then. Because I have a way to cancel damage right now. You have a way of canceling damage? Can you cancel yep, damage if I end my turn there? No, I for me, not oh, you. for you. Gotcha. Let me find it. Yeah, play any time you would take the damage to cancel all damage. Ah, got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because my, my hesitation is if I end there, I'll take two damage, which is not ideal. Because if I happen to draw a damage that prevents me from playing those green cards, then we can't attack it. So, anyway. But what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to play my Coolant Blast. Um, I'll defeat all henchmen in my location. So I'll wipe this out of baddies. My last action. Boom. Healed up. Took them all out. Pretty happy with that. Oh, and I can um let's freeze something. Let's uh let's freeze blue or yellow. I can choose I can choose either of them. Uh let's do blue. Blue's harder for us to kill. Okay. So before you draw a scheme card, do we want to cancel this scheme card or wait till it's dire? Um, let me draw two of these first. Um, oh my goodness. Because we have the option. Uh, it's up to you. It's not, I mean. No, I'm just saying it's, it's a way to skip a, a scheme card, but at the same time, it can, we have it to save it in case it might really hose us. The nice thing about skipping a scheme card is if we're ready to attack a villain, um, we can prevent them from like running away while we're prepping to attack them. Um, that's particularly useful. It could be useful now, uh, potentially. It's hard to say. Well, here, let's do it. Let's just find out. You just want to do, you want to use it just because? <laughs> that's... Yeah. We'll find ahead. out because I'm going to head towards Ambuscade anyways. So okay. I'm going to flip. Uh, where to go? Yeah, so we'll flip this guy. Okay. We are skipping the scheme this turn. Cool. It's your turn. Uh, okay, so I flipped a civilian. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to. Oh, Where are you? I'm not at 19. Oh, you're at 15. I'm at 15, so I can't draw cards. Darn. You can move there. You can only. I can only move in hero form. So. No, look at your. If you look at the icon, it's. In oh, the, it's it's both. both. But let's see how close am I? Oh, well, might as well. It's only one. <laughs> yep. Then I'm going to draw three cards. Awesome. Is it three? Yeah, it's three for you. Okay. The power. <laughs> oh, nice. Double red. So the other thing oh, about my. these decks is there are um, four different color cards in the deck. There's green, yellow, blue, red, to match the colors, of course. They're, all the cards are the same except for one. So you have one unique card, and that's your double dice card. So. And then since I'm still in civilian form, mm -hmm. I'm going to roll to see if I can get rid of this anarchy token. Nice. Boom! Well, it has to be odd, it has right? To be even, right? 
Even so, Even. it's yeah, you gone. Got it. You got it. You can discard it over here in this pile. Okay. And that is not an action. Yeah, such a good, such a good character. Just separate out these cards and make our lives a little bit easier. And then you've seen this before. Um yeah. I'm, I'm gonna play hypersonic speed. <laughs> And move here. Uh huh. And kill a green. Uh huh. And up my green. Yep. Then I'll move to Central Bridge for my second one. Yep. And my third one, I'll move back here. Nice. Get rid of that. Now we're up to three. Now. So I could technically take on Ambuscade now if I wanted to, right? You could. Four you dice. Have I... Four, maybe five dice, though. Yeah, I'm just. But normally we don't want to do this together. I would recommend How's it because it? if you did, I have got one. How do you do it together? I'm just curious. Or do we just do it one turn after another? Nope. What it, how it works is if someone does, spends an action to attack a villain or a boss, anyone else at that same location can attack for free with them. So we each attack, roll a dice separately, and we add up our damage together. And do we also potentially win if we get rid of all the meeples off the board? No, no, there's no um, eradication in this game. Okay. This it, is just things annoying us. The other thing to keep in mind is these cards, if let's look at Abuscade, for example, um, they've got special abilities. Uh, Abuscade is pretty easy because he has nothing. The defense ability happens when you are fighting him. So any, any heroes roll, or they take a damage if you have any dice that have a one on them. And then the counter strike happens after battle, no matter what. If he's alive or dead, the, the counter strike always happens. And then the after attack, the after attack only happens if he survives the battle. Okay. So that's how that card is read. Fright Train's got a horror special ability where he plows through. He can potentially run through and damage people along his way. Um, Glamour is super annoying to deal with because you can potentially attack her illusions and not attack her. So, yeah, they all got different things going on. Okay, then I guess I'll spend my last one. And I will move to Freedom Tower. Oh, okay. It's I mean, you could say... It's not it. exciting. You could stay at 22. You're, you're safe there. Yeah, then I don't have to move again to draw three cards. Oh, okay. It depends if you want to attack him on my turn. Well, do you want to... I can move there also. I can have a card to do that but um oh true, true do you want to do you want to do that actually if you do end at, at freedom tower i can choose blue on my start my turn and we both draw another card so that kind of makes sense as long as you're okay doing your super fast pushing the limit also. i have two okay i have two so i'm perfectly fine doing that okay cool so that is my turn so i draw two cards Yep, we draw two cards. Looks like you have to discard one. Oh, another green. Nice. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. So yeah, this nine, ten. Nine, eleven? Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I will discard one of my pushing the limits. Cool. Since I have two. Yep. And then the scheme. We add a blue to 29. 
We do not because I froze them, but I think we still then do we also the have mastermind a... token. Let me double check that. Yes, we do not. But we still add the mastermind. Um, and then I... we add. Is it 29 you said? Yeah, 29. 29. Okay, down here. So the other thing to keep in mind is when we place a mastermind token, uh, Bad the stuff boss is going to move over there and attack ev everything in that spot. And then he's also, because of Seeds of Chaos, is going to add another anarchy token of any color. So what color do we want? Um, you're going to red. Maybe I'll put a red down there for you. I'll put a red okay. right there. Okay. Cool. So that's that one. And then two reds at one. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So first red goes there, that's fine. And then the second one tries to get put there, but now we have what's called an overrun. So if you go over here to the the gameplay reminders, it says here in the top right, henchmen overruns. There can never be more than three henchmen of any colors. Doesn't matter because there are only have three. Whenever you add a fourth henchman to a location, instead an overrun occurs, add one henchman of that color to each adjacent location to a maximum of three. But they don't trigger subsequent overruns, so they don't have a, no chain reactions here. And then you also okay. add one henchman of that color to the villain or mastermind card of the matching color to a maximum of three. And so basically, what's going to happen is we're going to have one red here, one red here, and then we add another red to um, Fright Train right next to his card. What that means is he's got bodyguard. So if we go to attack him, he basically has 10 health because the first damage we do is going to kill the henchman first and then we have to take out his 9. That's great. Now red's a problem. Yep, now red's a problem. <laughs> Just like that. And yellow... I can deal with it. 17. Where's 17? Down here. That's fine. Okay, and then the bottom of the card says scheming. If there are less than 3 mastermind tokens, which there are 2, so yes... Um, add one mastermind token to the location of an active villain or mastermind. Oh, that's not good. So I'm going to suggest we add it here, which means we add another anarchy token there. So that's just, what is this location? The Chatham wineries. Something about the wine. I guess the the mad scientist man who wants to take a drink or something is going crazy. Let's <laughs> just get drunk. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a mess. Know. That's a harder mess to take care of, too. Yeah. Well, I put red there because you're really good at red, and there's no yellow anarchy tokens in this game due to the setup. So I'm really I have yet to roll a dice to <laughs> defeat, <laughs> that's defeat a minion yet. That's very true. Okay. So, um... Your turn. Hey, welcome back. Um, welcome back, Joe. Still playing. We're doing pretty good, but now we got this uh, winery that's blowing up. So we'll see how this goes. Joe's just ch chatting on our Twitch stream here. Okay, so start my turn. I'm going to choose everyone at a blue location to draw a card. Oh, look at that. We're both at blue locations. Like we planned that. <laughs> yeah. I get to draw a card. What did I get this that's time? Nice. For free. Ah, hood goggles. I love my hood goggles. Oh, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> nice joe it's the drunks lawless drunks yeah there must be lawless drunks at the vinery oh the vinery oh my gosh can't talk tonight winery the the german the german tendency of vineyard um okay cool so that's that um let me flip these over i'm at the location i'm i mean how many cards in my deck i've got 13 yeah let's go let's go for more cards i'll, I'll spend an action um, oh yeah, we got the setup. I'm going to do my keeping cool. Draw five ability cards, choose one to keep, discard the rest. I can only do that while I'm at those labs. So here's my five cards. Three, four, five. And, ooh, I'm definitely keeping yellow. Definitely keeping yellow. Lots of ice shields is awesome. I like it. And what's cool and blast? You feed all henchmen at your location. Sweet. Okay, I got tons and tons and tons of cards. Let me move to Abduskate's location. 
Uh, do you want to follow what did you say? Do we have something planned? Yeah. Yes, I will. I think I will push the limits. Nice. So you can move as well. You gonna join me at the uh, what's this? The convention center. Yep. Cool. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to do. I think I just want to attack this guy. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five dice. You've got I five have, as well. I have three, four, five if I spend all my cards. Sweet. And I will. And you have a justice card, which you can spend for another dice if you really wanted. That seems pretty good with only seven health. Uh, let's try it. Okay, I will spend my five card or my five dice. I am discarding all mine as well. And I might as well spend my justice card. Okay. So Does that go, does that go somewhere? Yeah, you can put it over one of these discards. Um, yeah, any of those. Flipped up so nice. So we have six for me and five from you? You got it. So you get to roll 11 dice. Uh, you roll your dice. You roll okay. Separately. Because you have ability, you can re-roll your dice. I cannot. Yeah. Well, I need to be here with one tech. Okay, there we go. Let's see what he says, though. Um, defense. So anytime you roll a one, you're going to take a damage. So that's his thing we got to worry about now. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm ready to roll when you are. Let's see. I've got my... Yep, got my five. You got your six. Let's do it. Here we go. I did horrible. Absolutely horrible. So where's Amuscade's card? Just... Oh, wait. No, we're using my green stat. Yep. So, you so need I four, got... Four higher. So I got three hits. Yeah. I got zero hits. I'm well, so sorry. <laughs> I will re-roll these. Wait, can you have a card let me re-roll dice? Let me look. Oh, no. That's only for you. You can re-roll your fail dice, though. Yeah, I'm going to. Is there... Does he still take hits? He still take hits no matter what. The question is, can you okay. hit, take him out? I almost did. One, two, three, four, five... I rolled any halfway decent, we could have done it. I can't believe I didn't hit on any of those rolls. I, I don't think I have anything to, to fix that either. Come on, tabletop simulator. Let go of the dice. There you go. Yeah, because I'm out of things to do. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. So you got how many successes total? Five? Four. One, four? two, three, four, five. Five? Yeah. That's Looks five like damage. one hero showed up. One hero showed up to this party. <laughs> yeah, he did. I, guess. I feel like this is a repeat from this weekend. It's just like just horrible rolls and failures. So <laughs> glad you did something. So we can knock him down to two life, which is good. So um, what's your green stat? Well, yours is four, so. Yeah, but to 50 50. Like, I, with five dice, I got zero. In fact, I took a hit. Because my ice, I'm gonna play ice shield and take damage. Ugh. Okay, what does he say here? Um, Counter strike. Attacking heroes suffer damage equal to the number of the heroes that are attacking plus one. So we take three damage. So I'm gonna play another one to cancel that. So you would take. Oh, attacking uh, heroes, try. not each hero. I got it. I took all the damage. You're fine. I use ice shield to protect. Okay. Us. Then after attack, he moves to a random location and heals two damage. So to well, move to a true. random location, we take one of these cards, flip it over. We look at the top only, and 17. So he's going to go to 17. Or 17 down here. Curse you, Deathstroke. I mean, Ambuscade. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And heals two damage. He's up to, gosh. Lock this. But could you, you can only attack him with cards. Only attacking with cards. You got it. Okay. So we're tapped out for right now. We are. 
Thanks to my awesome rolling. <laughs> Gosh, that was absolutely horrible. Uh, uh, so disappointing. It could have been so, worse. You could have gotten zero. Oh, wait. I did get zero. I see. I even took damage from that roll. <laughs> so <laughs> it was the worst thing ever. Uh, okay. Oh. I think I need to go over to 29 and try to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Um, let's see. How can I? I've got two actions left. Can I get there? Not bad. Oh, you yeah, have that, the card spot up here. that green card. Uh, darn it. That's what okay. I was going to do next turn. I'm going to move here to 29. I'm going to fall over because I'm so disappointed in my rolls. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to play my frozen shards um, to remove a henchman from my location. It's just gone. Great. Because now I can do my last action. Oh, does that count as defeating? I don't think so. No, it's not defeating. Hmm. What was the card? Let's see. It says remove. So I assume it's not. I've been okay, So here's my here's my dilemma. I could if I play that card, I can get rid of it for free, which is cool. Oh, I see. It lets me potentially get rid of one of these tokens, which I'm tempted to do. I thought I was cheating, but all my cards seem to say defeat the location as opposed to remove. Hopefully, no, you, I didn't you were cheat. good. You were good. I think you removed. I think you're right. I don't think you defeated. Now, the question is, if I defeat him, I can freeze red for us, which I think is a good idea. Should I try to attack it instead? Where's my red? Yes, red is horrible. probably. Because the card I was going to do to free up a bunch of red, we spent on Ambuscade. Okay, so instead of playing that card, I am going to hope for the best and roll one die. I need a five or six. Just do a normal attack instead. Hopefully defeat him. Oh, come on! Oh, wait a minute. So I can discard my cards in any... <laughs> uh, I can't do anything in this game. Uh. I just realized something. So when I discard my green cards, I can discard them in the order I wish, which is important for me. Oh wait, I'm attacking red. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I need I need a four higher, not a five or higher. Okay, hold on. So I'm attacking the blue guy, which I put back already. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so this is my blue roll. Okay. I can't okay, miss. Clever. That's fine. Right. I just have to play the card. I thought I was going to be clever. Apparently okay. I'm not. I failed you horribly. I'm going to hang up my cape. <laughs> Just go home. It's, done. it's over. Okay, draw my two cards, and I am done. Scheme card. I we think get... you failed Megalopolis. Is that the name of that city here? Yeah, Megalopolis. Megalopolis, yeah. Okay, 20, 25 gets a red. Tachyon's team. used to it. He's never, she's never really trusted Sub-Zero. <laughs> One here, and we get a guy here. And two greens at 12. That's perfect. That's red problem. Perfect, because that explodes. One, two, three, which means we add another one onto next to Abfuscade. And then yellow gets a number three, which explodes as well. Which means we add a yellow here, 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 and here. And then we add a yellow next to Baron Blade. Okay. That's all right. Now yep. we're almost losing the yellow. Yep, and now I get a personal task card, which this is what this says at the bottom of the scheme. So draw and activate ah. personal task cards. That's your deck here. And I'll draw one of these and flip yep. it over. What it does is it blocks these two spots. So I can't have these two special cards. Um, can't use them if I get in any. This says, apparently you need more public visibility. Throw the first pitch in a ball game. So I have to go to... Um, ADM, I bet. Yeah, it's an icon drawn here. But I got to go to the old... 21, stuff. I bet. 21. I bet. Yeah, it says Old Seaport Museum, but I'm pretty sure it's 21. It doesn't make okay. sense to go to Seaport Museum to throw a, 
into the ball game, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's number two. So I gotta go to number two and then uh, spend an action. Twenty-one. Yep. Okay, so that two? was horrible. Yeah. So me, huh? Yeah. We flip over. Where are you? Oh. Right there. I'm where we didn't defeat the Ambuscade. 20. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to Freeman Tower for my first one. Okay. Then I'm going to draw three cards. Okay. There's a green. Another HUD. Oh, actually, you can play your HUD to get your double green from your discard pile. That's not bad. I know. But you don't have enough to take him out by yourself. No, I was what I was planning on doing, but I can't find a way to do it. What are you trying I, to do? I was going to play the HUD to defeat all of like a red or a yellow or a green in the spot, but I can't get there without covering up the HUD. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, with your green? Yeah, gotcha. Well, no, we can do this. Let's do this. Because we need to... I'll move to northeast. You can move three spaces, too. I can. Yeah, if you look at your card, your movement is one to three You're locations. Right. Well, yellow is an option, so I'll move here. Okay. Then I'll play my HUD, which doesn't require an action. Mm -hmm. I defeat everything here, which is two green and a yellow. Yep. That means I complete another task oh, on my nice. justice card. Boom. My reward is, let's see, flip this card in time to add two dice to any green combat skill test. Hmm. We could I use could that a couple seconds ago. <laughs> I could potentially fight Ambuscade on my own, though. You don't have enough, because you would get three dice maximum, and he's got five life. Well, actually, you could, because... No, 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 because you would have... I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. So I'm going to flip another action and do another hypersonic speed and run around and defeat things. Sweet. So I'll go... Oh, wait, hold on. I need to get a new justice card. Probably should be Maybe. in hero form too. Oh yeah. My new justice. Rolling fire, oh no. Your hand's in the way. Let's I'm see. Sorry. While the Meg Convention Center 20 has no henchman out, you may exhaust one dice to choose any object to test, roll two dice of the matching color. Each success re rescues one bystander. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay, now we've hypersonicing. So. Okay, yellow and red are both horrible. So we'll go one, defeat a red here. Mm -hmm. Two, defeat a red here. Three. Defeat a red here. Yep. Hey. And then my last action. I will. I was. Oh, wait. I played the HUD wrong. Ooh. Played that really wrong. Why? Has played it. Unless the HUDs are different. No, the same. Let's play the top card. Oh, play. No, I did it right. You're good. It's free to take the top card in your hand, then you have one action to play it. So you're good. Yeah. You're good. And then I will take Hypersonic back into my hand. Uh huh. And then I'm done because that was my last action. Well, the HUD is free unless. Oh, wait, you ended the actions. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, the HUD is free. So then I play it. Yeah. Yeah, you can play it. Okay, I was doing it right. And then I'm going to do the same thing all over again. Okay. <laughs> See what let's see. Red is a little safer now, but yellow's not. So we'll go here for one. Uh-huh. Take care of this yellow. 
Then we'll come south. Get rid of this yellow. And then we'll go south again and get rid of this yellow. Nice. And you're going to take a damage because you end your turn in a spot with the henchman. That's fine. Okay. That's, at some point, I had to take damage. <laughs> yeah. That's my first damage of the game, so. Yeah, you're doing, you're doing really good. <laughs> Way better than me. Well, some of it was dice rolls, so. <laughs> and, okay, so now I draw two cards. Well, take your damage All first. Right. First thing before you forget. So up here in this uh, gray bag, you can draw oh. a token. See what you get. The... Oh, lost an action. Place an action on a token. There we go. And then I draw another one? Nope. You only took one damage because there's only one person in your location, right? Where oh, there's you? only one there. Somehow I thought it was two. Where are you? Oh, you were here. Yeah, you're fine. Only one. And then I'll draw a scheme card. Uh, Two cards first, and then scheme card. Oh, yeah. So and apparently I'm pushing the limits, which I'm probably going to play. And then the scheme card. So we get a red and a bystander at 14. It's okay. Not ideal, but okay. Two yellow at 28. 28. That's not ideal, but it's okay. And then what else? And then at 30, one green. And if there's three, we move the villain. There's no I three. Am okay. And, and then... then we're running out of time. There are three or more master deadline tokens. There is. Advance to track move. one space. So we move this from two to three. First time we moved it. Okay. And I'll let you go, and I'm going to take a small break. I'll be back. Okay. Let's see. Where are you? I'm at a blue spot. You're also at a blue spot. Oh, that is awesome. We both are drawing cards. Loop. Okay. Flip all these tokens over. Oh, I'm not. Even, I'm not anywhere near. Th Sp Wait, sports complex is twenty one. Oh no, I'm close to it. Well, not that close. One, two, three. Okay. Ugh. I think I'll do that later. I'm not going to worry about that now. Okay, so first action I'm going to do in hero form is try to remove one of these tokens. So number four, let's see what we get. It says here, we have... Strange radiation is sapping your strength. Then you test spirit or tech. Doesn't do attack. Let's see what happens. Survive the radiation. So my tech is three, my spirit's four, so definitely do tech. So four dice. And and I need three or higher. Two successes. Let's see what this says. Tachyon has returned. <laughs> Good. Um, I suffer one damage and discard two ability cards if able, then discard this token. Oh. Boo. Suffer damage. Let's see. Can I... I'll, I shield it. And then let me get rid of... I don't need... So all these surfing. There we go. Okay, good news is I got rid of this token for us. Also good news, I got you to draw a card for my... Uh, need ability. Did you do that for me? I or didn't draw a card draw for you. One. Yeah, you, you have okay. a card. I will draw it. And before your turn ends, I am going to move. Okay. 
I'm just trying to decide. Looks like yellow is a problem again. Anything we should work on yellow or red? Um, Is it my turn? No, oh, no. I'm not sure. Yellow, maybe? It's hard to say. So I completed that, that one, so now I've got this reward. I can add plus one bonus yeah. success to any roll, which is pretty nice. And you have no green dice. That's great. No green dice. We do have a lot of blue. I just discard a couple of blues. Do you want me not to discard some blues and go after blue instead? No, I'm just saying we. I have one, two, three, four blue dice. If we want to start looking at, uh, we can try it. We can try it. Let me get rid of. Oh, we don't have to do it yet. I'm just pointing it out. Get rid of these two then. But we're not going to beat them unless we try. So. Yeah, I'll work my way work my way over there. So I need to rescue a save a city reporter at twenty two. It's kind of far away. Okay, okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to push the limits and move myself. Okay. I think I'm going to try to take out this other token. Number five. Oh, great. Not again. Okay, so that means he's going to blast me again. He's blast me for three damage. So let's see. I will play my ice shield again, so I only take one damage. So I get, I get. Oh, I lost a token. Oops. Yep. Boo. But at least I got rid of that one. Okay. I'm gonna use another action to rescue this bystander. So when you do that, you just flip over this card and do what it says says frightened citizens please don't leave us until the cops arrive so um i must exhaust an action so i spend another action but the good news is so all these uh bystanders they have little icons in the top left corner this one does have two icons you see it most of them just have one but anytime you have two of them you discard them and you get a special card in its place so i'll discard that I get a special card, and I don't know if I can put it. I'm gonna have to check the rule book, but I don't know if it's covered up or if I can put it here. I think I can put it there. I'm not positive. So now we've got this card, Young Legacy, help from a friend. Play when a scheme card is drawn to discard it without effect. Holy cow! No other scheme cards are drawn this turn. Then you may move to any location. That is amazing. What's well, Young Legacy? Wow. Totally, totally, totally worth it. Okay. So I've got one action left. I don't know if I should have gone there. Okay, I need to get rid of this ball game one. Sports complex is right there. So I'm going to head towards it with my last action. I, move, I can't move three, not as fast as you. I'll move here to, to the center and end my turn. Okay. okay. Draw my two cards. Oops. Draw my whole deck, apparently. Just want two cards. <laughs> There's a green card. Okay. And now it is. Now we draw a scheme. Here we go. This looks like we have to add a yellow and a mass mark token at eight. It's eight. Oh boy. That's a lot of guys. Two green at 20. Mass mine. He, oops. That's interesting. Let's have to shuffle this. Okay. Um, and here. then. Hold on. One... I gotta move this guy real quick. Oh. And then we gotta put a token down. Um. Green, because we're equally good at green. Okay. Okay, and then what else? Two green at what? Green at 20. 
at 20. Right here, that's where I'm at, that's okay. And then what else? The blue at six, and if there's three blue there, we move the blue villain. There's not, oh wait, three henchmen there though, right? Not R3 blue. Yeah, three henchmen, yeah. Oh, no, no, it doesn't say there's henchmen, so he moves there no matter what. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah. So he moves there. Every time the these guys move, they do drop a an anchor token in their spot. So, yep. And each year we move up to three locations. And now we get to move one to three spaces. Where's Abjuscade? Can I get there by chance? He's down here. One, I can get there. You're in his spot. Do you want? Do you want to try to take him out? Finally? If you want to get. Well, let's... sure. I, have one I only die. have one green card, so it's all on you. <laughs> oh, maybe not then. I have one die and one basically, yeah, you know, two successes. So maybe not. Let's see. Hold on. Oh no, no, you have you have, you have this thing. It gives you two. Oh yeah. So you have three, I have four. We have four dice. I have one success with four dice. Uh, maybe. It's up to you. I, I will move down there if you want to try to take him out. If not, I'll, I'll go someplace else. We have to take care of the minions first, right? We would have to, yeah. I can do that. But I only have four actions. Let's see. And they're yellow, which is not great for me. So I could do. Let's go for it. I go think I it? can get us there. Okay. Yeah, we'll I'm see. Down there. Okay. It You're gonna is... take damage. Does that matter? What's that? You're gonna take two damage. Does that matter? No, because my turn ended. Oh, the hero turn ends turn before over, we draw so. the cards in place, guys. So, yep. Okay, it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna flip the hero for him. Uh, except for I was hero, and then. I'm going to play hypersonic speed. Okay. Not seeing uh, optimal. Now I was trying to more, but we'll do it this way. Uh, one. Mm -hmm. Two, three. Yep. That was one action. Then I'll move back for one more. Okay. And then I'll play Blinding Speed. Well, you don't want to play that card because it's a dice, though, right? Oh, you're right. Well, actually, you could because you can hug goggles it back to your hand, so you could do that. Yeah, I'll play that. So that way we don't have to roll to get rid of that. Then I'm going to HUD it back to my hand. And then the last action, we're going to take on Ambuscade. Would you okay. like to join me? Definitely. And I get three dice. Which is, but I do get to reroll them. Well, maybe even more than that, right? Because you get the, this one. You can spend this for two more dice. And then because it's flipped over, you can spend another one for another dice. So you could potentially have four dice. So I, so I get one for blinding speed, two for that card. Where's the fourth die? Because after you use it, it's flipped, and then you can spend it for another die if you want. Oh, you're right, yeah. Deep. So four dice. That's pretty good. And I'm going to spend mine for one. This one, 
I don't think I have to use it to a roll, so I can't spend it yet. So I have to wait. So I get one die, but I do have an automatic success. Okay. Hold on here. So wow. We have There's five no dice. Oh, gosh, five I, dice. I have, <laughs> I have two re-rolls, I think. You so I have my own built-in re-roll, and then I have a quiet moment, and it doesn't say I can only play one. Yeah, you can do both. So let's roll. Well, these, it's actually different we'll because this is quiet moment is re-roll any failed dice. Oh wait, I never mind. I haven't done quiet moment. Um. Oh no, I've done that one. I have earned that one. Yeah, you, that one you've earned. The other one you haven't. Yep, that's right. Okay, let's roll these, but we won't need it. Okay. There we go. So oh I got two, two hits because he needs fours. Or is it ambuscade? Yeah, two hits. Oh, sorry, I look at me. So I got two hits. So except for that one moved, but that, that was a hit. And then I'll re-roll these. With my own ability, got a third hit. You got four hits. No, two hits. Yeah. This one flipped. It's it okay. Was something, and then I have another reroll if we want. You will, because I only have one success. Because I'm going to spend this for my success. So I've got one hit. How many hits do you have total? Three. So my one hit. So I have, we have a total of four. We have a total of four hits. You got them then, because I got the other one. So I have three. You have one, right? Yep. Or we no, got him. there's one more. You need one more hit. We need five hits total. Well, then I will. Okay. Well, then let's do this. We'll flip this to re-roll and hope. And there we go. Boom! Finally. Didn't feel like much of a roll, but it rolled. <laughs> okay. Got him. Okay. So here's the fun part. Um, let's see. So I. Come on, let's go on my computer. There we go. So let me unlock this real quick. Oh, it's not locked. Oops. This thing. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is we still do is Counter Strike. Um, so I'm going to take one. We're going to take four damage total. I blocked two of it. Can I block two more? Uh -huh. I can block two more. I got it all. We're good. That's okay. I can block my own as well. Oh, okay. So if you don't want to spend it, I can spend my own. Um, I, I'm going to block one of it. So yeah, you can spend yours. Actually, I think I, I screwed that up because I only had one of them. Uh, so who do you think we're going next to? Blue? Well, hold on. Probably. We got more stuff, which is I'll the spend. fun part. Every time you defeat one of these guys, first thing is, this got ticks down. Down to yep. 13 because it blows up the power source. Flip it over. Defeated. So now we get a reward. Attacking heroes may take two rewards. So collectively. It must be different rewards. We can either draw two special cards. Keep one. Remove all green anarchy tokens from the board. Remove up to six henchmen. Draw four ability cards. Or take his uh, villain token. So the, what does that mean by take his token? If you look at the comic book over here, on the special mm -hmm. rules on the top of the page, it says each villain standee taken as a reward for defeating that villain may be spent in combat with Baron Blade to inflict two automatic damage. So you can take that. That sounds, that sounds kind of good, but so do special cards. Yeah, we we'll choose two of them. So I, I personally like taking the tokens. I think it's awesome. But you, and then we can pick one other thing. Is my 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 suggestion. Well, let's take the token because okay. I agree that automatic damage is never a bad thing. Okay, I'll give it to you. And then do we want to? You pick. So special cards are abilities. Yeah, you can see the one I have over here. I got one of them. They're amazing. They are free actions to okay. do ridiculous stuff. Okay, so I'll draw a special card and we'll see who wants it. Uh, two cards. Draw two cards and pick one. Stop it. Stop it, table. Oh, I drew the deck. OK, 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, there's two. Get them out of my hand. Ooh, okay. Play any time. Do one of the following. Draw five ability cards. Defeat all henchmen up to two locations. Wow. Or add one die to a villain or mastermind fight. Can't complain about that. Play any time to defeat all henchmen at up to three locations. Remove one anarchy from one of those locations. Or add one well, they're both good. That seems better. They're still both really good, but I think the tax strike's even better. And do you want that one, or should uh, I take it? I can't even play it, so you should take it. Oh. Okay. Why can't you play it? Because my um, special, my personal task is blocking those spots. Oh yeah. Okay. So that I'll take that. Yep. And that's the last of the rewards, right? Yep, that's the last of him. So yeah. you can finish out your turn, which I think it might be done. I'm done. Where's your other justice card that you had? Oh, it made it to my hand for somehow. Okay. Okay. First villain down, we have to defeat two of them to advance. So, okay. Draw your cards and see what happens. I'm going to have to go back to Freedom Tower. I only hope oh, I only have one card to draw. Oh, that's it then. Well, I use my deck. We have a lot of blue. We could go up to blue next, potentially. One of them will probably get spent during your turn unless we go with blue. Okay. Because I want to move close to Freedom Tower because I need to heal. Oh, I need to get fair. my deck back. You could also go to this place, too. You can heal here at the labs, which is one, two, three, away from you. So. Same distance. Okay. Uh, scheme card. Here we go. What do we get? Oh. Um, yellow at twenty-eight. I can cancel these. I'm just. Ooh, that's not good. Two blue at six. I might want to cancel this one. Um, yeah, that's horrible. And then red twenty-five. Twenty-five is right there. We move. We do heal, which is nice. Um, but I think I'm gonna need, think this is a good time to use my help from a friend. Oh no, I can heal anywhere. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna play my special help from a friend. We're going to cancel that card. It, it's gonna have too many explosions for us. And I'm not gonna okay. just not gonna deal with it. But I can move it wherever I want. So I am gonna move. You want to move up toward blue? Oh, yeah, I can move close to it, like here. Oops. That way I can heal. Oh, wait, no, actually, I want to get rid of my, my thing, too. I don't know if your heal is different, but my heal, I can heal anywhere. I cannot. I have to heal at the labs. Okay. Uh, I think I'll heal first and maybe get rid of that stuff later, so my personal task. Okay, cool. So now it's my turn. I'm in civilian form. Oops, that's not so bad. So this damage token that sits on my action, that only affects me one turn? Uh, or, no, no, I can heal. Until you get rid of it. In which case, I'm going to... do my repair. Yeah. So I'm going to repair myself my first action. Get rid of that damage token. And I get to take all these cards and shuffle them back into my deck. Okay. That was my first civilian. Then I'm going to choose my... Choose a color. What color are you on? You're on yellow. I'm on green. Are you going to move? Um, uh, if we're planning on going for blue soon, I wasn't going to. Because I can heal anywhere. Okay. But I need to, next turn I'm healing no matter what, because I have no deck. Okay. You go to 22. And that's basically how I've played my characters, just using the deck. I've got to roll <laughs> just a standard attack so far. 
Okay, I think I'm going to try to do some cleanup now. Um, I think I'm just going to move up to here. Red's the only one we're low on right now. Yeah, you think just head to a red, red spot? Green's getting close. Because this one can explode. I'm worried about that. So I'm thinking I'm going to attack that real quick while I'm nearby. Move and attack. Roll three yellows. Boom, two of them. I'm happy with that. Question is, I've got two actions left. Um, red is what we need to worry about, huh? One, two, three, four. I could get down there. Yeah, let's do it. Spend an action, I'm going to use my ice ice sled to move four spaces down here. And then my last action, I'm going to attack all of them. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at attacking this. Why am I doing this? In fact, I'm, I'm going to spend my blue. I'm going to do this coolant blast and defeat all of them. Boom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to head and freeze red for us. There we go. Cool. It's my special ability. Okay, and I need to go to 22, so I'm close. Okay, I'm close by both places I need to go to. Good. So pretty happy with that. I'll draw my two cards. Oh, let me shuffle this deck, because I'm not sure if I shuffled it. Okay. One, two. Ooh, good. Yeah, one red. And bad card. Hey! This is great. Nothing happens. This is the nice. Justice Rules of Night. Nothing happens, and we don't draw any more cards. It is your turn. We need that break. Okay, I flip over. I'm going to heal for my first action. So I guess this damage goes away. Does that make that token available for the next turn? Uh, for know? this turn, I believe. It doesn't really say in the rule book, so I think you get it back immediately. I'm not positive. I'll go with that. Game's hard enough. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and then I get all these cards back. Yep. Oh, all of them. There you go. Okay, that's my first action. If you end your turn next to an anarchy token, you can probably get rid of it too, or try to. Yeah, I was hoping I was next to one, but I'm not. I mean, so. you can move before trying... you flip to hero form. I can't move within, well, I'll say one, two. You can come down here with next to me. Actually, down here, yeah, this would be awesome yeah. for you. One, two. Yeah, I'll just go here for one action. Whoops. And try your free. Then my free, I roll a die. It's not even. Okay. Uh, Worth a shot. Yeah, I'm going to re reroll it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, you can't reroll it because you're not in hero form. Oh, okay. That did not happen. <laughs> and I'm going to go to hero farm. Oh, wait a minute. One other thing I was going to... Let's see. Hold on. Oh, do you want to draw your cards before you do all this? Yeah, I was going to say I draw a card while I was there. Two cards. Three, you believe, right? How many cards? Um, yeah, research three. Grant. Yep, three. Yeah, before I left there, mm -hmm. I drew three cards. He didn't see that. <laughs> you were so fast. <laughs> And they're all my green cards again. Okay, and then uh, let's see what my cards were. Okay, then I'm going to play Hypersonic, my card I like to play. And go one, remove that one. Uh -huh. Oh, 
bad location. Okay, we can put this one back. Hold on. Okay. And we'll go one, get rid of this one. Whoa, that's me. <laughs> one. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. Nice. Okay. Let's see. I healed, I drew. I moved. I have Brasonic, so that should be flipped over. If then... you wanted to retcon, you could uh -huh. have tried to remove one of these uh, Anarchy tokens before you left that spot. Is that just a roll? No, not exactly. So if you look at your card here, the bottom of the card, token interaction, uh -huh. What you do is you come over here to these Anarchy decks and you draw the color that matches what you're trying to do and you do whatever it says. Was there a token there? Yeah, there's two of them actually. In this I mean, was there a, a meeple there? Nope. Yeah, I'll go ahead and retcon that because I don't know what I'm going to do with this last one. Yeah. Okay, so, so what do I do here? Draw this card over here and you uh, see what happens. Because you're really good at body, so... So what's happening? A new street drug that grants temporary powers is creating chaos throughout the city. Roll five mind. Roll five dice to test test strength or mind. So strength body's better for me, so I'll test body. Uh -huh. Okay, let us test body. One, two, three successes. Three successes. You destroy the chemical factory, remove this anarchy token, then roll a die. Okay, let's roll a die. This, no, let go. <laughs> two. Roll to die. Remove that many red henchmen from any location in the city. Okay, so we get rid of a, a token. Uh-huh. And then two token two red henchmen for two reds. So this isn't well, bad. There's three here. Yeah. And then wherever else you want to take. It's two from two. Uh, it's two. It's two red henchmen anywhere. So I'll take these two away. Or I can just do it somewhere else. There's somewhere else that that'd be more beneficial. Doesn't look like that's any more beneficial than anywhere else. We'll go here just because it's far away. Okay. Anything else on that card? Uh, I did no, not I fail. Didn't. That goes to the discard, random discard, or? Oh, uh, I, I, I already discarded for you. You should be. Um, it goes over. Yeah, you can put it there. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. And that's a turn for me. That was a good turn. A lot of retconning, but it was a turn. That's fine. There's, a, there's only a little bit going on in this game, right? <laughs> Bystanders, anarchy tokens, mass mind tokens. Yeah. I don't think we're doing horribly, but we're certainly not winning though. Yeah, we're we're like at the uh treading water stage, definitely. <laughs> Go ahead and uh draw your two cards. Oh yeah. Draw my two cards. Not the deck. Oh, come on. You can press and hold it and just wait a second and it'll pick up the whole deck. There we go. Uh, 
Oh, my HUD. Thank you. So we need we to defeat draw... another villain. So we need to draw a scheme card, though. We do. Okay, we have... him off. We have a red at 26 and a scheme Mastermind token. token thingy. Okay. Which is bad because I'm there, so he's going to come blast me. Yay. Where's the dude? Here he is. Whoa. Moves there immediately. Um, put another Which right here. I take three damage. Right. Okay, Fright Train moves there. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting so screwed here. Okay, grab some tokens. And then two green in uh, 20. Two green at 20. Then you get a yellow henchman at 16. And then nothing happens because we don't have a yellow villain there to move. Correct. Okay. Now... Each hero may either heal one damage or draw one ability card. I will draw an ability card because I have no damage. I have all the damages, oh. but is it worth healing oh. one when I have to heal two later? Because my heal is, I heal all damage. So I'm going to just deal with it for now. I'll, just, I'll take the card. Okay. Well, that was not ideal for me. <laughs> okay. okay, so it's my turn. I am in civilian form. Let's see, where are you? You are in what color? Um, I'm at Freedom Tower. No. No, you I are. Am... Oh, you're. I'm at yellow. I mean cool. yellow. Easy. First action. I'm going to move to the sports complex. Um, so let me do this. So I spent one action to move, second action, I'm going to do my personal action. So now I'm going to throw the throw the first pitch at the ball game. So perform the personal task action and discard a green ability card at the old, at this location. So here at this green card, this is gone. Yay. Get rid of that. Um, I need to go heal. So let me move. Two more spaces up here. Spend an action to fully heal. Get rid of all that stuff. So I can actually play some cards. Oops. Oh, wait a second. Do I? 22. Oh, not near the beach. Okay. And when I heal, I can shuffle my deck, which I think I will. And I think my last action, I, it's kind of a waste because I'm not doing much to help us. But I think we'll just draw cards and keep some colors so that we can go after a, bot, a villain on, on your turn or soon. So one, two, three. Four, five. Okay, I don't really need the green cards because we took out the green guy. Yeah, I don't think I need those. Get my ice shields. Okay. That is it for me. Draw two more cards. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and that one. And draw a scene card. We get this horrible mess. What is this thing? Okay, nine. Gets a green guy and mastermind token. Okay, here. Yeah, and then two yellow at eight. Two yellow at eight. And then we move a villain to Freedom Tower of our choice. Oh. Let's see our cards here. I've got two, three blue. I have four blue, maybe even five. I use my card here. Yeah, I only have three blue, so. We well, have a card. You can maybe get four. 
Um, but it's a start, regardless. Yeah, it's a start. Where? So do you want to move blue there, or do you want to move red there? A blue... Red's at 10. Yeah. And I have two red. I would go with blue. Okay. It was more my choice. Okay. I... Move her there. Once she moves, she's going to drop down a token. Um... And then we draw and activate. Oh, a she just dropped a token. Card. Sorry, I'll explain that in a second. And then I get this is my card. I get another personal task. Great, I just got rid of one. Okay, so instead of putting a anarchy token there, what we do is we put an anarchy card there. So if there's ever two anarchy cards here, these are special. Power blows ones. up. But yeah, the high card blows up basically. So we can't let that happen. One's okay, two's okay, but at the end of a round when there's two of them in play, we lose the game. So. Okay. So it's my turn. It's your turn. Uh, my first thing, I flip over, and then I'm going to roll a die and try and take care of this Anarchy Tiles over here at Megalopolis University. Should I do the red or the green? Does it matter? Uh, you can't take care of the red. The red's a mess. My token, it's only the green. Okay, that's what I thought. So I'll roll a die here. Oh, and got it's it. and it's even, so we get rid of that. Nice, nice, nice. Then let's see. How do I want to do this? You could potentially attack the blue on your turn if you wanted. That's what I'm thinking of doing. What would she do again? Let me look at her card. No special ability. Defense. If an attacking hero rolls more even numbers than odd, attack chases an illusion. She takes okay, so I'm going to play Blinding Speed for one action. Let's me move to any location and defeat anyone there. So I'm going to go to the max center. Okay. Or the mix center and defeat all green there. Sweet. Um, yeah, the only thing is you couldn't draw cards at the, at the Freedom Tower if you did that, because you've been here for them. That's fine. I'm not drawing cards, I'm fine. Okay. Then, I will spend a token to move to Freedom Tower. And then I'll spend a token to attack Blue. Would you like to join me? I would. I'm going to spend this Justice card. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four. Am I getting rid of a Justice card? We have five dice. So one, two, three, four. We always know only my dice seem to matter. It's true. <laughs> you figure that out. <laughs> I need a four higher to hit. Okay. Okay, blue. I need five or higher, so this is great. Okay, see what happens. He's not... I got a hit. I got two hits. But we have to look at what but, she does. Do you have more even on. than odds? Oh, go ahead. Well, let me re-roll my dice. Because I'm going to re-roll them first. Okay, I still have a hit. So I have more odd. Okay, so you're, we're both okay. So then you can count your hits. One. One? Okay. I have... No, hold on. It's mine. No, blue. So... 
Yeah, one hit. I got two hits. So we got three hits collectively. So she takes three damage, thankfully. Now let's see what she says. Um, we did the defense. Counter strike. Move the attacking hero, which is you, to the location of the closest hero and deal that hero two damage. So you attack me for two damage, which is fine. I can ice shield it. So we're in the same spot. And yeah. then after attack, Glamour moves to a random location and heals two damage. Then place one anarchy token at that damage. Oh, boo. Annoying. So she's going to go to... Okay, not that. I'm going to shuffle that back in. She's going to move to five. So where is five? Five is down here. And okay, I still... There. Okay. Okay. That's some more action still. I'll play my... You could try to take care of the anarchy card there if you wanted. You don't have to. Oh, yeah. How do I do that? You just flip over and read what it does. Oh, it's been an action already. Spin an action, then flip the card and do what it says. Oh, I have an action, so I might as well. Yep. Okay. Deal with that. Okay. What does it say? Roll three tests and test mind. Received an anonymous tip that a bomb is hidden somewhere in Freedom Tower. So you got to test mind. So mind is four. I got two. Two plus. I found it. Shocking. <laughs> Since I have super speed. After much searching, you locate and deactivate the bomb just moments before the detonation. Remove this card. Nice. Got it. Oh, you got it. So. Hold on. And one more action. I will play Blinding Speed. Nice. And move. Where are we at with colors? We're fine. I'm going to move closer to Glamour. I'll get rid of this blue. Cool. Then I'll draw two cards. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have a lot of HUD goggles. And then I'll draw the scheme. The scheme is we add a blue to four and a mastermind token. Okay. Oh, that's where I'm at. Oh, so we don't have any mastermind tokens, so let me see what that does. It can't uh, be good. Advance the mastermind track plus one, then move a mastermind token from another location to it. Okay, so this moves forward, and then we'll take, uh, which one do we want to remove? Um, this one's in the corner, we'll move that one here. That means boss so man's going to fly to your location and deal you three damage. Okay, I will cancel that, I think. And looks like we have... Yeah, I cancel that. Okay. And, and then the next okay. one is two yellow to 16. 16. Okay. And then a green to nine. Okay. And we don't move Amuscade there because he's dead. Nice. Personal task for myself. Yep. I draw an activated personal task card. Yep. That's disappointing. And it blocks your two left spaces. Is it always. This? Okay. Well, the first oh, one blocks you two left spaces, the second one blocks you two right spaces, the third one does something horrible. I need to do my special sometime. Assist the scientists at RevCorp HQ with an unusual experiment. Perform the personal task action at RevCorp. Okay, that's easy enough. Yep. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, 
So I flip. And let's see. Where am I? I don't have any damage. That's good. I need to go to the beach. That's your personal task to go to the beach. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's my... Uh... Oh, wait. I have a new personal task. Do I? Yeah, I definitely. No, I have to go to the park. Attend a family reunion. Really? At 12. This is why we're losing. If you're just prioritizing family, you know, <laughs> the I know it's of the city. Actually, it's not a bad spot because there's three green guys there. That's not bad. Okay. First things first. And now I have no blue cards. Yeah, neither do I. That was not ideal. My first action is I'm going to spend an action to keep him cool. Draw five, keep a color. One. You are the you're in a position to start beating down red if you want. I can't help you really much, so. But I think we might start thinking about doing that kind of thing. Unfortunately. Like the red. Yeah, I can tell. Well, I mean, not always teaming up. True. True. Um, did that. Let me move to. The park. I'm going to spend another action to get rid of my personal task. Okay, now... Wait, where are you? You're in a blue spot? Okay, before I did all that, I'm going to choose blue so we both draw a card. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four, five. I have five red dice. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'll flip over to my hero side. And let's see, what do I have for my cards? Unfortunately, none of us have any blue. Yeah. I mean, the question is, are we going to bother going for the red guy? Or do you want to try to take out the blue person's? I have no blue cards, so I can't do anything about them. Okay. So I was just saying red because you have, you have a rod of red. I do. You have four red. I'm going to spend an action to do a coolant I can... blast. Oops, come on. Give me the it's like, I have one red, but I'm nowhere near you. Or, uh, or yeah, nowhere near blue. Actually, cool. no, I'm close. I am close to blue, but... Cool. It won't do me any good. I'm going to coolant blast all those guys. And let's go ahead and drop my freeze token down there. Where's my freeze token? Where did I put it? Running out of yellow, just so you know, we have at least we have three spots of three yellow. Oh yeah, maybe I'll freeze yellow instead. Well, actually, I can do it each time I destroy them. So I put one on green for now. Yeah, I just pointed that out. That if we draw one yellow, it's gonna blow up hmm. more than likely. Can I do we have about that? three oh. spots of three, one of two, and one of one. Okay. Let's see if I can help with that. I get down one. I'm too far away, really, is the problem. I could get down to the zoo and take out one. It's up to you. That I can't do. Let's do that at least. So I'll lose, lose my, my last action to move down to the zoo, and I'll dump one of these red cards to just get rid of that guy. Okay. Not ideal, but something. Draw two cards. Ooh. Nice, nice. Okay. Now we do scheme card. Horrible things. First one we don't we have place a green on. and a bystander. Oh, go ahead. We put it at 12. I was just saying we have a green and bystander at, at Zandu Park. Uh-huh. No, Xiang Park. Two yellow at North Park Zoo. That's where this I am. can be good or really bad. That's okay. And then we have a red at 26, and we move uh, uh, Freight Train there. Is this 26? 26 oh, we lucked out. is the, the <laughs> Port of Megalopolis. Yeah, we lucked out. Because when he moves, he does horrible things. But because he's there, he technically doesn't move, so we don't do any of his effects. That's good. And, and then we have, if there's three or more mastermind tokens are active, 
I all think of them we are. are, right? Yep. Remove one and advance the mastermind track plus one space. Okay, let's just get rid of this one because. Okay, and now we hit five. Boom. So now what we do is we stop, we come over here to this card, and, oops, not the card, the page, we flip it over. Chapter 2, Maximum Chaos. So more talking about how he struggled growing up as a kid. Um, just a very angry person. But now things are changing. So this is the villain phase. We still draw two cards. But we also draw two scheme cards now. The first card we do everything normally. The second card we just do step one. And only perform the event if it relates to Mastermind Tokens. In other also, words, we're losing. What's that? So in other words, we're slowly losing. Yeah, exactly. We, also, we have Devious Traps now instead of the previous one. So then when resolving a Mastermind token, all die results of one result in one damage to the hero. So yeah, that's fine. Okay. Side quest. A strange signal is causing the Freedom 5 supercomputer to malfunction. We place a counter at 27 and 2. That's what these little tokens are for. So one is going to go up here. And the other one is going to go where the heck over here. So, side quest, what it means is um, any hero may exhaust an action and discard an ability card while at these locations to take the quest token. If you don't know what they're for, it's just something on the board. Now, when you do them, something in the campaign is going to happen. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, I figure something good for us should happen. Yeah. In addition to that, now we have more or different effects that happen now with the Mastermind tokens as his plans are changing. And now we do not advance until we have three villains or the Mastermind track reaches eight. So defeat all three. Okay. It's wrapping up. It is your turn. Okay, I flipped the um, scientist mode. I'm going to roll a die and try and take care of one of those two blue icons. Sweet. It's not. Do I want to re-roll it? Can oh, I can't. That's my hero form. Yep. Okay, so I have a plan-ish. I'm going to play Blinding Speed for my okay. first one. Okay. Let's let me move to any location and kill a token. Kill nice. that token. My second action I'm going to do an accelerated assault. And that will defeat these other two. Okay. So yellow is a little less scary. Then for third action, I'm going to play blinding speed. You look through your right here. Let's see. I'm going to go one. Get rid of that green one. Okay. Two to get rid of this blue one. Uh, blinding speed is moved to location and get rid of one guy. You think of hypersonic speed. Oh. Did you want to do hypersonic charge instead? You have that in your hand. That's what I meant. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... Then that was two, and yep. then three. I will get rid of the one here with Glamour. Okay. Then for my fourth, I will play my Goggles to take Hypersonic. And then my last one is to play that. Okay. 
Then I'll move one to remove that green one. Two to remove this blue one. And three to remove. Uh, this not, connected. not connected. Oh, curses. You can move back to nine. Yeah, it's my choice. And I'm coming Actually, that's pretty to... good because it's a lab. That's, that's where you want to start anyway. Okay. I draw two cards still. Mm -hmm. More HUDs. That's, that's Ooh, good that's and bad. Good. And then we're out of... Uh... Oh, no, we're not. Scheme cards. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a nice night. No more cards. That's good. Oops. So whenever you draw these cards, you do remove them from the deck. Okay. So, so it's your turn. Not that it's going to matter, I don't think. Okay, a little, little rebrief. Where am I? I am up here next to some blue yellows. Cool. So you now have five for red. I do. The problem is he's 10. I know, but it's at the start, at least. Well, the other problem is I have to roll a 6 to hit him. Because <laughs> if you look at his defense ability, attackers modify each die rolled by minus 1. That's great. So it's so, super, super hard. I'm the best part. Yeah. Okay. Do you have blue? I do have you blue. have one blue. You have one blue. Yeah. We're getting closer on blue, but he's going to heal two if you hit him with one, so it's not worth it. Where's this thing? Oh, it's supposed to be green. Yeah, we're... I think our best I bet think is we're losing. Do you have, do you have blues? You have one. No, you have I one. have no blue. Okay. I have a lot of HUD. Is what I got. <laughs> yeah, not good now, but later it'd be awesome. Let's see. Um, I'm in a yellow location. You are in a. Where are you? Oh, you're in a green location. Okay. I'm green. Um, can I move to a yellow location to help us out? Is it worth it? What's my I'm gonna go for the bystanders to try to get a special card to help us. What does this thing do? And you go to the beach. Oh yeah. It's way far away from me. Not worth it. Okay. I think I'm gonna choose let's see you've got nine cards in your deck. I've got four. You can go ahead. I'm gonna choose your color. You can draw a card. Okay. Thank you. I hope it's not a HUD. I like HUD, but it's better with cards. Blinding speed. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to try to do some cleanup right now. Okay, so first action. Flip these all over. Spend an action to attack those two yellows in my spot. Any threes or higher, so let me grab these dice and roll them up. That is absolutely horrible. <laughs> oh god, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, gotta try it one more time. Come on, I gotta get at least one of them. There we go, I got both of them. Much better. Um, I feel like we're not doing good at yellow. So I'm going ahead and drop my freeze and yellows. So freeze them. And I've got three more actions. I want to I'll move here. I'm gonna drop my frozen shards, two of them, to get rid of both those guys. Now that there's no guys there, I'm gonna spend another action to rescue that bystander. So we get this. What's this guy do? Midwest Detective. Ah, heck. This town is more than I bargained for. 
Or look at the top scheme card, discard it, or place it back on top. Okay, let's take a peek. Um, that is a lot of red. And he's moving. Okay let's, not, let's not do that. Let's not do that. It's pretty bad. Okay. And I've got one action left, I think. So we have to take out the henchmen to take out Baron Blade, right? To, to attack him, attack? yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay. The problem is he's super strong right now because we've... I don't think we yeah, can do it. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to end my turn at the park. I'm hoping to rescue the other bison so we can get another special card. Okay, that's it for me. Um, I draw two cards. One blue, that's good. Green, okay. And see what we get for scheme. We get this thing. So, Let's say we get a green and a bystander at 11. At 11. Where's 11? Down here, okay. Two yellow at, at City Hall 16. That's not good. Oh, I frozen. Nothing happens. Good. A red and move Fright Train to 14. That is not good. He's, was, he's, we've been looking at game and moving, but now he's moving. So how Fright Train looks, if you look at his card, his special ability to plow through. When he moves, move him via the shortest path, and he deals two dam one block of damage to heroes on each location he moves through. If he does no damage this way, place a second anarchy token at his destination. So he's going to 14. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, right along this path. So there are no no people, no heroes there. So he puts one down. He wants to put a second down, but he can't. When you run out of those, we, we move up the board a bit. Advance the mastermind track by plus one. Yep. So this moves again. That that was good. <laughs> On the move, he, each hero may move. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Each hero may move three locations. Up. So I'm staying. I'm staying. I think I want to stay too. And then we draw one more card. Let me just double check what it says. Um. Car two just performed step one and only performed the event if it's related. Okay, so, so flip it over. We do two yellows at 17. Which is down here. Oh, we do two anarchies each time now? Or, or schemes? Yep. And then we do That's running, great. Running out of time. Uh, do we have three or more active? Uh, yep. Yep, we do. So we advance to track another one. <laughs> it's accelerating. Yeah, we're we're not winning. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, your turn. We gotta, we gotta get rid of another villain. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm gonna roll a die and try and get rid of an anarchy in blue. Okay. Cause that yeah, that's the only choice I have. So we'll roll a blue die. Boom. It's even. That's okay. Nice. And then I'm going to draw three cards since I'm at the lab. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay, I have three blue now. I only have two, but that's five blues. Yeah, that's my worst stat. But it's worth a try, probably, at some you point. Two more. The tactical strike. I'm tempted to try it. Five. I've got two more. But I have to roll five plus. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deal with this anarchy, this scheme token. Mind. So I draw a mastermind card, right? Yep, so it's flip token, and then you flip that token over. Oh, and I bet I know. We go over to... Where does this token go? Well, leave it in the spot for now, because you might not get rid of it. I will get rid of it. It's not a lot of faith. So number one. So, a laser, laser blast. blast fires down from the mobile defense platform. Move Baron Blade to your location and suffer three damage. Well, okay, I got rid of it. Yep, you did. 
And Baron Blade goes over here. Can I prevent this damage? You can. Well, if you have the ability to. I do not. That kind of sucks. Do I draw three tokens or just one? Uh, take three damage. Take three tokens. Okay, that's what I thought. That's that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we playing this game again? <laughs> okay. 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 There. One. Why won't it draw? Was that you or me? No, nope, that was you. I think. Oh, wrong guy. Here, I'm gonna help you. There's two, three. This one's upside down. Can't play yellow or blue cards right now. Okay. So can I place this on a token that's already exhausted? No. If, if you read those cards, those tokens, it doesn't go on your. It doesn't block your actions. Oh, okay. They say you that's can't. Good. You can't use yellow or blue cards. That's great. So. Okay. So no HUDs. No pushing the limits. But you can heal yourself, right? I'm gonna go heal, and I'm. I can't heal. The, oh, I have to be in. Uh, oh, you have to be civilian form. I have to be civilian. So. Okay. But where am I? Oh, we can get rid of this. Yep. Where's the bag? Go? Okay. Move Baron Blade, you're in the way. Okay, that isn't connected. Let's find a good spot for him, maybe like right here. How would I want to do here? Okay, I'm gonna play my green card. Mm -hmm. Move to any location. I'm gonna move here. Mm -hmm. Take care of that. Then I'm going to play hypersonic. Mm -hmm. Go one. Two. Mm -hmm. Is this to say may? Yeah, you may. Play the next. Okay, I'm gonna stay there. Oh wait, please actually move with two, three adjacent location. Oh, well, maybe you have to do three. No, actually, no. I'll go here three. There's okay. nothing to lift you. Then my next one, I'm gonna deal with this. Okay. Number three. Nervous. Yes. Looking uh, So I roll my fight. Yep. The Blades Battalion's best are looking for a fight. See so you do. three dice. I roll Four my ability, dice. right? Four dice. Four? Okay. Mm -hmm. I have three, two, two successes. You can reroll two, by the way, if you wanted. Yeah, I'm going to reroll since I don't see any other reason not to. Boom. Three successes. Wait, hold on. Was that a two? No, I have four successes. Three plus. You quickly overwhelm the gooms. Discard this token. Nice Yay. job. Go, Tachyon. Uh, then my last. How do you deal with the anarchy tokens here? 
Um, you draw a card with a matching color. Do what it says. Okay, I'm going to deal with that. Okay. Oh. Uh, where are those? Yeah, over on the side here. Yeah, they are. Yep. Ooh, okay, roll four yeah. dice. Test mind in my case, probably. I'll fight for you. I don't know, fight. I just wouldn't think it with her. Two successes. Who was reroll two? I can't reroll. Yeah. Is it any? Anytime you roll the dice, you can reroll. Oh, okay. You. Well, then, might as well. Boom. Yahtzee. You round up the gangsters and deliver the police. Deliver to the police. Remove this anarchy and any four green henchmen from the city. That's great. There's that no awesome. henchmen in the city. Oh, from the city, so that's anywhere here. All right? Anywhere on the board. Three or four of them. Green ones. <laughs> we have two green. Oh, wait, no. So... Oh, you have four. One. Actually, that's all the green. Two. Wow. <laughs> That means we win, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> eradicated. We eradicated the green disease henchman. And Good. then I have one more task. One more. Let's see. I can't play yellow or blue. I can play green, though. I will play this one to go to any location. And defeat. A uh, henchman. Nice. Close to that. Do some work. So I can heal. Mm -hmm. And then I draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And then I draw a scheme card. I draw one scheme card game. Okay. Okay, we add a red to Central Base, Central Bridge, number 25. Got it. Two green to 30. All that work. <laughs> and then we move, uh, add a blue to 19 and move uh, Glamour to 19. Ooh, that's an anarchy card. Okay. And then we draw and activate a personal task card. That's, That's you. Great. Uh oh. What happens if I can't? Does it? It goes on the right to now. So now you can't play your special card anymore. So the first first personal task you get blocks your left two spots. The second one you put it on top of these two spots. Okay. So it blocks those two cards from doing anything for you. Okay, I think I need to go on a little trip. And then do I draw another scheme? Yes, you do. Oh, come on, game. Why have you decided to draw two? So just do the top. Okay, a red henchman and a scheme or a mastermind token at the cavern number two. And boss man's going to fly out there. Two blue, two we don't, five. We don't do the first step, and then we do oh, the last okay. last thing. Three more master tokens are out. Are there? One, I did a two, lot of work on this. Three. There are. So, oh. We so we. It. I'm assuming we advance. Yep. We do advance. Oh, new comic page. New comic page. Okay, so here we go. Villain phase effects. Chapter three. Terrible legacy. So drawn two cards, but now we draw two scheme cards. First card we do everything. Second card we do one and two. So we do a little next step. But Fools! They think they've won. No, I don't think that. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> they have yet to see the full scape of revenge, a far greater legacy. Oh, I see what he did there. Oh, Baron Blade. Silly, silly. You mad bomber.
So now we have a new special effect, Wicked Schemes. When a villain moves, roll a die. On odds, place a Mastermind token within the Anarchy token place. So there's a chance we'll get even more Mastermind tokens out. And we That's don't good. advance until he's defeated or the villain or the heroes attack and fail. So yeah. Hey, it's up to you to fix all what. You're so screwed. Time for uh. So screwed. It's time for uh. It's time for Sub Zero to contribute to this team. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> what have you been doing all game? Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay. So his. So where am I? I'm up here. You are in green. Oh, we're both in green. Cool. We're both gonna draw a card. Okay. Oh, gotta get back to my dude or my lady. First action, I'm gonna rescue that bystander. So for the special, most likely. Yep. What's this do? Paramedic. Tell me what you need. Oh. I'll help in any way I can. Heal one damage or refresh one exhausted action token. Awesome. And I've got two of those. I get a special card. What do we get? We got Quiet Night. Oh my goodness. Prevent drawing scheme cards. Uh, we're definitely using that. Okay. Got so much ice shields. Okay, so I got well, all my action tokens. I yellow. We'd be good if I had a, we had a yellow villain. I <laughs> know, if we can only attack him, right? Well, I guess we could technically attack him. I can't use those cards right now. That's true. That's not going to last past this turn. Blue's there. We need to take out a person. Can I do my research in hero form? I do not know. I can. I don't think I can. I, mean, I only got one card in my deck. Yeah, I have to shuffle my deck for sure. I'll just go repair. And I cannot do keeping cool. Okay. So let me move. We're doing can minions. I'm not too worried about that. I'm worried about the other stuff we got there. Well, technically, these side quests I think are gone because we can't complete it anymore. It's not a new chapter. Um. Yeah, I'm going to move here. I'm going to attack. Ooh, do I want to? I'm going like to defeat all those guys type. with this this coolant blast. Just so you know, this is a prototype version. These are not the final virtual components. <laughs> yes, they're not. I'm going to try to take care of this anarchy token here. So let's see what happens. Flip this over. Oops. And a mysterious monster has been spotted roaming the city. A local psychic claims it has occult origins. I roll four dice. So I can do blue or green, which are exactly the same for me, so I'll do blue, I guess. Oh, how many dice? Four dice. Four. Okay. They all seem to be four. Four or higher for me. I get two successes. So... That's enough. You defeat the wolf-like creature, but it flees the city before you're able to capture it. Draw two ability cards to remove this anarchy token. Cool. That's not bad. And two cards. I think I only have one card in my deck. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. So I need to go heal somehow. I'm going to use my ice slide to slide all the way over oh. here. Use a frozen shard to get rid of that blue guy there. One thing you could think about doing is making sure you stay where you're at. And we could take a hit on uh, Glamour this next turn. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my last action to heal, which lets me basically shuffle my deck so I can get more cards. I'm hoping that's going to help. Yeah, because okay. I'm, not, I'm not much help, but it'd be nice to get one more. There's a blue card okay. back. Good. That's good. And I'm going to play my... Ooh. Did I play my Quiet Knight? Or did I use it for the dice? Verge, Glamour. One, two, three, four. How many blues do you have? Three? Not an... I have one. Well, you have three. No, blues. I have three. Yeah. But I have to roll fives. 
Oh, you have to roll fives. One, two, three. Quiet at night sounds kind of nice. Because it's five things and two events. Okay. <laughs> I agree. I'll play Quiet Night. Which means it's your turn. Okay, where am I? Thought I was closer. You're close. You're next to me. Okay, that's what I thought. So I'm going to spend... Okay, I flipped a normal form. Then I'm going to flip and move one. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to flip and heal. And these lovelies get to go back to the bag. This is you me reshuffling your ability deck. Does it mean everything goes back into it? You may. You don't have to, but you only have two cards left, so I probably would. Yeah. Oh. And then since we're about to attack, I will... Do research and draw three cards. Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to attack the villain. Would you like to join in this exciting moment here? I would. I would. I only get two dice, but it's something. Oh, sorry. I flipped the hero form. So I get one, two, three, four dice. I know of no other way to get more. <sighs> this going to be a tough one. There's only five health on her. It's not looking good. The whole game's not looking good. But... That's true. That's true. Okay. So... Here we go. Four dice. I need fives. I am going to re-roll all four. Okay. There you go. I got two hits. I got one, so it's three hits on there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How many dice I roll? I rolled all, only odds. Her defense ability says if you roll more evens. Did you roll more evens? Let's look. I have more... Okay. It's equal. Yeah, okay. So we took away three? Yep, took away three. She's down to two, but she's going to leave. Counter-Strike. Move the attacking hero to the location to the closest hero and deal that hero two damage. That's me. I can ice block it, so no big deal. Okay. After the attack, Glamour moves to a random location and heals two. So she's back up to four. Yep, and she's going oh, she's to be 17. Well, she's getting there. Oh, no, she's not. We oh, took her down here. one. We took her down one. I know. Ugh, this is brutal. Brutal. Okay, then my last tax action, I will deal with his Anarchy card. Okay. Because I'm pretending like we have a chance now. <laughs> okay, roll four test. Four to roll test mind. The Freedom Tower mega computer has a virus and is now attacking all government computers. Uh, you need a four. You got one success. I got one. So I'll re-roll. Because I can. Three. Three. The virus, but not before the government advanced the mastermind token one. Oh man, oh man, <laughs> and remove this anarchy token. Yep, that's gone. We'll drop that in the spot here. Okay, I don't think we're doing well. That's just my feeling. So, I have one, I draw two cards. Yep, and then I'm going to be doing some discarding, I'm pretty sure here. 
One, yeah, we two, should be three, we should four, have been building five, up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm fine. We I think I don't know. I do not know. We should be building up our attacks bigger, I think. Because we're at the verge of barely doing it each time. Okay, scheme cards. First card. Well, you only have so many cards, so that's true too. Uh, if we had yellow, I'd be good. <laughs> so one and a mastermind token gets added there. Okay. I bet. Oops. Oh wait, I didn't do my. Uh, I didn't do the. Did you draw the scheme card? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Um, okay. Okay, and then two greens at nine. Yep. And then what's the and last then one? A blue one at four, and move the blue hero there. If there's uh, three henchmen are present. Oh, only if there's three. Okay, she doesn't move. Yeah. And then we're out. running out of time, and we move this, and I think we just all lost probably. Kind of. So I'll show you what happens. So we flip this over. So a mad bomber? No. Nope. <laughs> so massive plan effect. That's the first thing we do because it's got the little lightning bolt next to it. It means instantaneous. We have to do it right now. Step one, move Baron Blade and all heroes to Freedom Tower. So here we go. Move Baron Blade and all heroes. And all heroes are already there. Okay. And then it says Baron Blade activates his cannon. Each hero discards one random yellow power card. Uh, they're all the same okay. for me, so let's get rid of one of these. Uh, mine are not, of course. They're close. Yep. Come on, game. There's some room for you. Oh, here. Let's talk about yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to roll a die. Two. I lose a HUD. Okay. Which is fine because I have a bunch of HUDs. Well, kind of. <laughs> Not really. You'll see it in a second why. Oh, I know. Step three. Heroes attack, so we have to attack him. Okay. So we have to take him out of, so he's got six, seven, seven plus 13, 20 health. We have to do 20 health in yellow cards, yellow dice. I have two, you have? One, two, three, four, five. Five, yeah, so we have max seven. So there's no way we can do it. We can roll if you want, but there's no way you can do it. We have to beat him in this one single turn? Yes. Let's see how pathetic it is. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, I roll. I need four pluses. Yep, I need threes higher. I'm doing pretty good. I got two hit, three hits. Ooh, two sixes. I got two hits myself. So, I got... We got a total of five hits. Okay, that's, that's that's close to twenty, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's it. And then what we do is we look at the after attack. If he's defeated, read victory. If he's not, his trans lunar cannon activates, read defeat. So what we do is we come over to the comic book, uh, and... flip this over, and read defeat. Oops. It says the Freedom Five can only watch as Baron's blades cannon unleashes a beam of blinding light at the moon, slowly pulling toward Earth. Suddenly, the moon has stopped moving. Looking up, you see heroic reinforcements have managed to subdue a distracted Baron Blade and stop the device just in time. After bringing Blade to prison, the wounded Freedom 5 retreats to the tower to recover. So our reward is each hero begins your next adventure with a damage, and then additionally, after setup, you place an extra Mastermind token on a random location. Uh, so it has a, a mini campaign? It does. So this is the first chapter you keep going on, and it, uh, it all ties into each other. And, and here's the side quest. You could... If you want to read what it does, but you don't have to. So, oh, this is a little room of their products. I never noticed that. Oh yeah. Oh, they did Mage Wars. What else did they do over here? Anything off the shelf? Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. Let's see, they have Mage Wars. I got that free BGG con one year. Still have it. 
smartphone. That's supposed to be good, but it's never interests me. Well, we lost. Wow. Thanks for teaching. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and um, thanks for everyone watching. I will not be canceling my pred, my 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 pledge. <laughs> okay, and I'll end the stream now.